Good morning guys, it is my birthday and I'm so excited because for my birthday this year, I am launching Chrissy K Beauty. I did like a little something for Black Friday. I'm finishing the collection today with highlighters because everybody knows me, knows I love a good glow. But it's been a good morning so far. Come over here, you can see this, but my bestie sent me flowers. I love flowers. It's so beautiful. I'm so grateful to have like the friends and stuff that I have who just like love me and always support me. And you see, I got my bonnet on. I'm giving bonnet Isha right now because a little baby over here, we about to style her, but we're gonna get her together. So let's get to this birthday hair. It's not a little wig. So this is the box. It came with some little goodies, a little bonnet, but all that hair, I can't put nothing in there. That was cute though. The little strap to tie down your wig. This is leopard, I love this. These lashes, I don't know why y'all be in these big old um, spider lashes. Like, as ladies of a certain age, like we, we don't do this. And then a little makeup brush. It's giving highlight. It's giving, let's put that Chrissy K glow. This is a 24 inch jerry curl and it's highlighted and it's so pretty. I'm gonna have to get her together. Bleach these knots and everything, but I'm really excited about this. She's so cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna come up out of this. Well, I dried my hair last night so that I could, uh, this could be easier. Wait, actually, I probably need a comb to comb this out. I'll be right back. All right, if y'all haven't figured out by now, pattern is my jam. Matter of fact, hold the front door. They released a new color in the comb and the edge brush. This is like my favorite edge brush bag is super cute. This edge brush is everything. Look at how cute it is. I already have the black one. I have all of it in black. And then they have the pick, which is obviously from natural, but it's so bomb. But I think I'm gonna use that other comb to comb it out. Oh my God, so freaking cute. Comb out my fro. So last time I had on a wig, my homegirl did it for me. I think she gave me like 10 braids. I don't got time for that, but we gonna go with eight. So let me see, try my best to get this as straight as possible, but I'm trying to make her proud. She'd be saying when I be put my wigs on, I'd be being lazy. Enough, making my braids big enough, so Coco, this is for you. And also because I am gonna be doing some traveling, I need to have my hair like set. And then I've got my pattern scalp serum. Like I feel like pattern is the equivalent of apple because I feel like Apple low-key made me that bitch. Like I really be buying like everything they got because it works well together. And I feel like Pattern low-key got that formula down in their products. Now that it's parted, I'm gonna add some braiding cream and I'm gonna take my Pattern uh, serum for these braids, get to combing it out and get to braiding it all the way down. You know what this process is. You don't need to see the whole thing. Finally, to this last braid, we are going to um, braid it on down and um, and wash and condition this wig. So I'm gonna take this IGK Mixed Feelings Tony Drops and put this in, actually no, can't even do that. I'm putting in the conditioner. I'm gonna wash it with this because it's almost done and I want it to be done. And I'm gonna mix it with that one because you can never over condition. Somehow when I was washing, the shampoo bottle was in front of the camera. My bad job, but you can see most of what I'm doing. So I took some foundation, my Milani one, and I put it on there around, because I don't really want to like glue it down. I ain't in the mood. And then I also took some and I put it right here to keep it going. I got a little head and all my wigs used to slide off my head. So I started getting a wig group. But what I did not know, was that if you look right here, you can see that I crossed this one from this one on this side. Actually, that's a little crooked, twisted. But like on each side, I crossed it over to the first one on the next side so that it'll make my wig tighter because my head is little. So let's see how this fits. Ooh, if it's nice and snug. And one of the mistakes I made on like one of my favorite wigs too, because I, I, I put a lot into it was that I forgot to make sure that it was straight from ear to ear. So like when I cut it, I didn't cut it right. This time around, if it's nice and snug and we're not doing that. So I need to make sure that it is long enough. I mean, that it's in the right places before I get to cutting because I cut it wrong. And then after that, it was kind of hard to fix, but I still be making it work because 
what else I'm gonna do. Okay, so I got it on straight now, but honestly, it's giving like, I don't even know if I really wanna stick it down. You see? Okay, look. And I got the baby hairs. So I know where to put them, my baby hairs at, you know? Okay, I, I fucked with them on this wig. They did that with this one, my little simple self. I'm being real, trying to be real careful on this cut because I don't want to cut nothing I'm gonna need. Okay, I might have to stick it down a little bit. When I start cutting off this lace, I realized I was really gonna have to glue this down and I hate it because it makes me nervous. I'm not really that good at it. I'm gonna do the best I can though. Okay, yeah, I can cut a little bit of that off. That's okay. I can't believe I've been doing this so wrong for the longest. It grips there, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get the rest of that laid back in order for it to like, for real do what it do but i think for today i ain't gonna mess with it because i don't feel like it and it's fluffy enough for me not to i'm being lazy i'm gonna come back and lay it though it's just not right now i got stuff to do and the clock is ticking so take my pattern spray bottle get this hair nice and wet add some pattern mousse i love this mousse it's everything literally even on my hair like it was supposed to be like a one product thing and it really is okay curls y'all not love me a curly wig Look, this right here, I don't want to absorb no water. Part is not straight. The worst part ever. Okay, you know what? I think I pretty much got it set how I want it to make my life easier. I'm gonna take it off and do a little plucking. I can see a lot better now. It does not have a band, but that's okay because I don't need it. Just combing all the hairs out of the way, trying to get the straightest part possible. I probably should have used some wax, but fuck it, we're here now. Okay, so I let it dry a little bit. I think I'm gonna shape it to them. Just cut some of these ends. I just don't need to be here and don't look good. I don't wanna shape it too much because the part is not just the T part. So I got options on how I can wear it and I might not stick to a middle part. But I'm starting with a middle part. Let me figure out this little baby hair situation. I'm so bad. I'm probably gonna show up at Coco House on Monday. Like, if you love me, you help me out. But the hairline looks, actually, it's pretty plugged. Like, I don't really gotta do much. And I'm here for that. Yeah, it's pretty plugged. I don't really wanna, yeah, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing right here. Maybe I'll figure it out when I get on my head. I was gonna pluck, but I'm gonna pluck the hairline, but that's really all the plucking is gonna need. A little more on this side. Okay, get that up out of here. I got this natural wig um, tint, so I'm gonna put that on the slide that in right there. Give that a little tinty tint. The rest I'm actually gonna put on my hairline like once. Looks like it's somewhere to sat down. Honestly, I like what's being given right now. Blue, something like this. Yo, let me figure it out. I'm gonna learn how to finally slay a wig. I was gonna slay it. Ain't nobody's gonna be able to tell me nothing. All right, so I tried this already and it was a fail actually, like my head was cut off. So I couldn't see, so that's what I get. But also I did it wrong, so round two. So I was reapplying the glue and what I forgot to show you guys cause it got cut off the first time was that I did take the blow dryer and dry it before I stuck the wig Try down. Try this again, go on and pull that down. Honestly, if I was gonna do it this way, I could've took the wig rip off but shit we're here now. All right, put this back on. So it stuck to my head enough for like, if the wind blow or something, I'm all right. Now them baby hairs and stuff, I ain't, auntie ain't really good at that, right? I'm, I'm giving auntie on that and that's okay, hold on. But yep, this is really good enough for me right here. I'm so good with this, but I absolutely love this wig. I can't stop looking at myself. It's so cute, it's such a good change. Birthday hair for sure came through. Nadala, they came through with this wig. Like I will continue to buy wigs from them. Um, comment below if you bought wigs for them and if you tried it and don't know how to do baby hairs cause I just feel like it's such a thing now and everybody knows how to do it except for me. But it's okay, I'm learning. I'm back. I've been really inconsistent because I've been busy. I've been working on some things, but if you guys want more like hair videos, makeup videos, if y'all wanna know how I got this beat and you wanna see how I get it done, Make sure you like, make sure you comment. Let me know what you like, what you want to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.